informed Goulburn trainer Brad Hewitt has a number of very bright prospects in some of the feature races on Saturday night here at Club and Angle. Caught up with Brad to dissect their chances. Well, Brad, the stable is certainly going exceptionally well at the moment. You've got some very promising horses you've unearthed at Wagga recently. Yeah, got a pretty good team, Mick. Um, yeah, a lot of sort of two and three year olds coming through this year that, um, yeah, all sort of a bit above average. So it's yeah, always good to have a bit of power in the team. Well, Brad, you've got some interesting runners here at Club Manager on Saturday night in the feature events, but unfortunately you're drawn wide on most occasions, including She's the Reason in the third event on the card. Yeah, it's sort of a bit deflating when the draw's coming out, Mick. Um, I thought she was a really good chance. She's still, yeah, not out of it, but I would have loved to have had a, a lot handier draw, and definitely if we could have drawn inside, Tintin Joe would have helped things even more, but, yeah, she's got it all against her from out there, but... She's going good, so yeah, hopefully she won't be too far away. Yeah, when you look at her form, the last three runs, all wins, and she won the consolation of the uh, Queensland Oaks at Albion Park, then returned home, won the Pink Diamond, then won the Heat in very fine fashion. Yeah, she did, Mick. She's a sort of big, immature, um, even dumb sort of filly. She only ever does what she has to do. She never wins by sort of big margins or anything like that, but um, yeah, so I think she's going to be one better suited to the uh, the British Challenge where she can sort of follow speed. She just does it for fun but um, yeah, like I said, she's going to have it against her from out there this week but she's in good form and going good so yeah, you never know, never know. she'll um, make a good account of herself but. Brad, you led in the heat to zip time in 27.4. She looked to be doing it comfortably. Yeah, she, she was just doing it easy and she was entitled to as well. She had a really easy run in front so she was entitled to boot home like that but she had plenty in reserve and, yeah, been more than happy with the work since. But, um, yeah, like I said, from out there, we're, we're definitely up against it. What do you see as your plans as far as the draw is concerned? Uh, yeah, well, I don't think we can be given the favourite too much head start. And she is a, a pretty strong filly. So, yeah, we'll just poke out and, yeah, see what happens. But, yeah, we'll definitely be, be heading forward. I don't think we can go all the way back to last and have nine horses in front of us trying to chase the favourite down so yeah we'll definitely have to be going forward. Over to race four the outside gate once again with Lettuce Nippio. Costly last time out you let him gave him every possible chance. Yeah he was um, tad disappointing but I, I think he's definitely more effective from behind but yeah, he's going to be seeing plenty of backsides from out there again too. I thought um, yeah, if he had had a kind draw and got the right sort of trip and run he would have been hard to hold out too. He, he raced really good against the older horses at Wagga two starts ago and um, yeah he's just he's just not a leader I don't think but um, yeah he definitely won't be doing that this week that's for sure. Over to race six which is the Len Smith. What an outstanding field. Any other day Brad this would be an outstanding feature event. Typos the reserve coming off a defeat last time out in Queensland but prior to that form was outstanding. He must be pleased with the way he's developed this season. Yeah, pleased with the way he's going, just not pleased we haven't got a start in the race. I thought his form definitely warrants uh, getting a run in a race like that, but anyway, it's uh, out of our control. But yeah, like you said, he, his run in the Blacks of Fate was still good. He just drew 13 to 13 and like he never got off the bridle like in, the, in a green circuit race. But um, yeah, he had no luck there and he's, he's got no luck net uh, this week too. Even if he does gain a run, he's drawn the car park again. But um, yeah, he, he's an exciting horse going forward, that's for sure. Captain's not goes around in the last one of your star performers. He's been off the scene for quite a while before he was June with a very comfortable win at Wagga last time out. Did you have an issue from the time he went around at Melton till the time he raced at Wagga? Yeah, just had a little niggle mick. Um, just didn't want to yeah, press on and um, yeah, do anything too serious to him. So there was nothing major. Just made sure, give him an extra couple months longer than what he needed. Um, Done, done everything right with him. He's been in work for a long time now and um, had plenty of grounding. So uh, same again. I was hoping he could have he could have drawn anywhere from one to five with the the three year olds getting the preferential draw, and he's come up with five. So um, yeah, it's not, not the worst draw, but I would have loved yeah, one or two or somewhere nice and handy. But um, I'm happy with the way he's going, and yeah, hopefully he can run a good race too. Do you still go forward? Ah, uh, I haven't had that close a look Nick um, I just yeah, have to weigh it up but um, yeah he's, he's a versatile horse he can do anything but um, yeah probably more lean towards driving a bit quieter this week so but yeah I just see what he's like and 
what sort of week he has, but he's pulled up well. He's yeah, he raced good last week, so yeah, couldn't be happier with him. He's managed the uh, syndication by retiring Canberra Raiders legend Jared Croker. You were there at the uh, game last week. Great atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, it was a good atmosphere. Just yeah, obviously wasn't the right result, but they got yeah, one more week this week to get in the final. So hopefully the boys can get the job done. Well, what's the best of them, Brad? As far as you're concerned, all up the Raiders. It might be a big weekend for the Raiders. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, it's hard to tip any of them from from the draws, but. Um, if Captain Snock gets any sort of luck, um, he's obviously a class horse and, and going good. And uh, if, if the filly had drawn anywhere by the, the outside of the front, I thought she would um, go good too. But she's still a yeah, good top three chance, I think. Good luck, Brad. Thanks, Mick. We'll need it.